We've all heard about viruses because viruses make us sick. They cause the cold and the flu. They cause HIV and hepatitis, among other diseases. So what are viruses? Well, the number one thing to know about viruses is they are not alive. They do not meet the qualifications for a living organism. They do contain genetic material, so either DNA or RNA. And if we, if you look at the video that we did on prokaryotes versus eukaryotes, you know that DNA and RNA is what allows a cell to perform daily functions. It's the blueprints for everything in that cell, for all of the parts of the cell, for what the cell does, for what the cell brings in and puts out. And so it would seem that because these contain DNA or RNA that they are potentially alive, but all they contain pretty much is DNA or RNA. Now some of them have an outer shell called a caspid. And this outer shell is made of protein. And it basically just encloses the DNA or the RNA that's floating around in the virus. Now, sometimes those caspids are pretty fancy looking. You can get ones that are sort of round with these like projections sticking off of them and they float around and they have you know their DNA or RNA in the middle and some of them even kind of look like little critters kind of like little spider things like this and they have their DNA or RNA in the middle now One of the reasons that they're not considered to be alive is that they have to be inside another cell in order to replicate. So if we, for example, look at a cell here, this cell gets infected by the virus, so maybe our little spider guy here and he will inject the RNA or DNA from that virus into this cell. Now, and the cell already knows what to do with DNA and RNA because it has its own DNA already, DNA and RNA already in the cell represented by this blue strand here and so it already has the ability to make more DNA and RNA and so when this new DNA or RNA gets injected into the cell by the virus the cell just makes more of it so this cell is going to just start replicating this DNA or RNA from the virus and so one of the reasons that a virus is not considered alive is because it can't replicate without this other cell from something else. Now that cell could be you or me, it could be an animal, it could be a bacteria. So there are actually viruses that infect bacteria. And sometimes when leaving the cell, the virus can take a little chunk of the cell membrane with it. So it kind of buds off and this pinches in until eventually this floats off as its own little outer shell around the DNA or the RNA of the virus. And so some viruses are just these little simple membranes around their DNA or RNA. Now, viruses are pathogenic. which is just a word to mean that they make you sick. And 
pathogenicity, so the ability to make you sick, is based on the ability to get into a healthy cell, the ability to get that cell to make its DNA or RNA, the ability to resist the host's immune system or defense mechanism, cell transformation, so the ability to mutate the cell into a cancerous cell or for some other reason to change what that cell does. So an example of that is the human papillomavirus, HPV. You've probably heard of the vaccine against HPV, which causes cervical cancer. So this is an example of a virus that can cause cancer or um, pathogenicity can be determined by the ability to initiate structural changes in the host cell. So um, to change the cell to be able to make its DNA or to change its shape or function or the outside of its membrane, things like that um, are all things that make a virus more pathogenic. So knowing that viruses can be passed from human to human in these ways, they develop something called the universal precautions, which you'll come to in a different chapter. But they are barriers and procedures that we as healthcare workers use to protect ourselves from getting something from our patient, but also to protect our patients from getting something potentially from us. And just to give you some idea, universal precautions will involve things like wearing gloves and never recapping needles.